Hey, hello friends, hi. Reading newspaper is one of the most important things you can do to improve your communication, your confidence, your vocabulary. I mean, if you ask me, reading newspaper was one of the most important things I did and th this has helped me to build my confidence, my communication, my fluency, overall everything. And I've been reading newspaper since last 19 years. And today I'm going to tell you how to select the right newspaper so that it will be effective for you, it will be quick for you to develop your fluency, it will help you to build your vocabulary and you will not end up reading a wrong newspaper and wasting your time. So this video is very important if you want to select the right newspaper because reading a newspaper is very powerful, very important and most important it is very cheap also because when you buy a book you have to pay 300, 400 rupees but newspaper you get for 4, 5 rupees only. So watch the video till end and I will explain you everything about how to select the right newspaper, what are the different criteria, and how to read the newspaper. Let's go. Before going ahead, I have, I will, let me tell you, I have come here with five types of newspapers. The Indian Express, the Times of India, I have come with the Business Standard, I have come with Economic Times and I have come with the Hindu. So out of all this, you can choose the best one, but I will tell you how to select the right one, how to choose the right one. Well guys, so let us start here, selecting the right newspaper. Guys, selecting the right newspaper is the first and most important thing. In India, we have different type of newspapers. But Every newspaper is not suitable for you. you. You need a different newspaper. You need a newspaper which is suitable for you according to few criteria which I'm going to share and tell with you. So before moving ahead, let us understand the process oriented approach and result oriented approach. See, understand while reading a newspaper, you must have process oriented approach and not result oriented approach. When I say process oriented, what I mean to say is you have to just focus on the process. You have to just focus on reading and understanding the newspaper and forget the English improvement, forget the English development. If you keep on focusing on results, you won't be able to focus on the process and you will lose both. So focus on enjoying the newspaper. That's the first and most important criteria while selecting a newspaper is have a process oriented approach and not result oriented that is English development approach. Don't think about when my English is going to improve, mm -hmm. when my vocabulary will improve, when I will be able to form proper sentences. Don't do that. All right. Hope this is clear. Now let us move forward and understand how to select the newspaper. The first criteria is the level of English. So when I say level of English, it means sentence structure and vocabulary used. Every newspaper has a different style, which you will see now. I'm going to show you different newspapers. All right. So now let us understand the second criteria. And the second criteria is topic of interest. You, you, you must have that interest, as I said, process oriented approach. That must be interest. What is your interest? What is the genre you love? What kind of news you love? Do you love everyday news? or you love politics or do you love economics or business you love sports or you love miscellaneous means all other general news so based on these two criteria you have to select the right newspaper so ready all of you let us start the first newspaper is times of india let me come aside and give you some space now what i'm going to do is i'm going to just go aside so that you have to follow the procedure now what you have to do is you have to read this and to read this newspaper from here and come all the way and come all the way and come all the way and finish here. Now, understand, you have to pause the video, you have to pause the video, don't just see the video, this is not a watching video, you have to actually pause the video and read this, read this whole news and you have to note down, was that reading easier for you or difficult for you? Was the news interesting for you or boring for you? Hey, you have to take efforts. I have taken a lot of efforts to do all these things, to collect all the news. So you have to take efforts. You have to just pause and read it. Okay, I will tell my editor to give his, this, the full, full picture of this. So pause the video now and just read it. Okay, let's move ahead. Now let us go to the second news. Okay, this is the news of Times of India and it is it was about simple like uh, son to get Dhyan Chand, 66 year old hockey stick. A simple news I have chosen. Now, let us move ahead. And the second is the Hindu. Now, the Hindu is a different kind of newspaper. The vocabulary used is different. The sentence structure is used is the different. Used is different. And the news they cover 
is very different. They usually cover international news, national events, and international events. So like I have taken one news for you. For example, India refers to Taiwan Strait militarization. Now this is the latest news. Uh, today is 10th of September. I'm shooting this video. This newspaper is, I guess, a couple of days before. So this is the news. You have to just pause the video, read the news carefully. Okay, if you don't know how to read newspaper, I have made one video, link is given over here. Watch the video, watch the, understand the process of reading the newspaper and now finish this. Okay, now once you finish this, how do you feel? How was the news? How, how, how was the words and how was the sentence structure? You enjoyed reading? Was, was it too difficult for you? Was it boring for you? Decide that. And based on that, you can select. Alright, now let us move forward. The next is, here I come. The Indian Express. The Indian Express newspaper group is very nice. It is uh, uh, for average readers who have good vocabulary and good reading habits. But you can choose which one you want to go. I have taken a very general news uh, about this uh, tribunal direct state government to clear appointment of two candidates as sub-inspectors for orphan quota. So go through this. I have selected this news carefully for you. Read all this news while reading. If you come across with some new words, like if you don't know the word orphan here, jot it down, understand the meaning, write the meaning, the pronunciation properly, and finish the news. Okay, so this is the Indian Express. Let us move forward and understand the economic times. See, while reading, you have to also have vocabulary from all walks of life. And economic times is best for developing your financial vocabulary financial vocabulary and of course I will make some videos also based on different uh, news and how to read the news and how to build different vocabulary and all so guys economic times this is the news I will come on this side so that you can read and of course this is about economics stitch exports in time this is a news by Dhanendra Kumar okay and read this news properly and you will understand what kind of words are used here? You will understand these words are more about economics. These words are export, import, words like um, integrated, words like promoting, word, words like incentives. These are the typical words which are usually used in business, in economics, in finances. So go and read and try. And then at the end, I'll tell you what to do. And last is, business standard one step ahead one notch ahead than economic times now the news which i have taken is foray into fmcg let me see i can't see segment this year this is about this news is about reliance geo business standard read this carefully read this carefully understand the words used understand the sentences understand uh, the topic given to you understand what what you have understood understand yourself and now I've given you the file. Now you have to decide which newspaper, which was easier, which was fun for you to read, which was uh, very interesting for you. And that newspaper is your newspaper. And go with that newspaper. Okay. Having said this, having said this, just don't stop there. Suppose, I mean, usually Times of India is quite easier to understand. Don't stop there. Go and jump sometimes to the Hindu, go with digital versions, go sometimes to Indian Express, go to Economics Times, go to Business Standards, go to um, newspapers like uh, Midday News or uh, the Mumbai Mirror is a very nice newspaper I also read whenever I go to Mumbai. So these are the different criteria in which uh, you have to decide which newspaper is better for you. You can decide and you can choose whichever you feel like, okay? So guys, this is all about choosing the right newspaper. Now write in the comment which newspaper was easier for you. Write in the comment. And that newspaper is the best for you, okay? Choose with easier first. You should be able to enjoy the newspaper. Take care. Bye-bye.